Maybe. Maybe we're supposed to meet the wrong person before we meet the right one. So when they finally arrive, we're truly grateful for the gift we've been given. Maybe it's true that we don't know what we've lost until we lose it. But it's also true that we don't know what we're missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't have the best of everything, but make the best of everything that comes their way. Maybe the best kind of love is the kind where you sit on the sofa together, not saying a word, and walk away feeling like it was the best conversation you've ever had. Maybe once in a lifetime you find someone who not only touches your heart, but also your soul, someone who loves you for who you are and not what you could be. Maybe the art of true love is not about finding the perfect person, but about seeing an imperfect person perfectly. Good afternoon, everybody. You are welcome to holler. You are welcome to clap at the right time. And so in the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Daniel Shelton and Shelley Stringfellow. We have come to share their joy as well as to celebrate their love. Now, what's marriage all about? Marriage is indeed a gift of God in creation through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body, and mind as Christ is united with his bride, the church. The gift of marriage bring husband and wife together in the delight and tenderness of sexual union and joyful commitment to the end of their lives. It is given as a foundation of family life in which children are born and nurtured and in which each member of the family, in good times and in not so good times, may find strength, companionship and comfort and grow to maturity. And so, in the presence of God and before this congregation, Daniel and Shelley have given their consent, made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. <laughs> if I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and do not love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not love, I am nothing. Indeed, if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It doesn't dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered and it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Stepping out of the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty moon Silver dress, sparkling eyes, crystal blue
So, firstly, if Shelley and I can just say a great big thank you to each and every one of you for being here. We love you. It's a day that should have happened about 10 years ago. Uh, we planned it, we booked it, but then we had to pull the plug because we went on to have two beautiful children instead. So we tore up the traditional rule book, but we've rewrote our own. And we're so proud because to have both of our children here today as a bridesmaid and a page boy to us just feels that little bit more special. And then there's this one. We've called each other some names over the past 13 years. 99% <laughs> of those I can't repeat because there is children present. But today and every day, I do now get to call you my wife, finally. You look absolutely breathtaking. But I do fancy you in your Minnie Mouse pajamas. <laughs> so this bit was always going to be a success, wasn't it? I'm so proud of the things that we've created together in our two beautiful children, our beautiful home, and our loving relationship. That's why I say that everything that is good about me is all because of you. I love you so much, I'm extremely proud, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you.